This article covers the organization of the United States Coast Guard. The headquarters of the Coast Guard is located at 2703 Martin Luther King Jr. Avenue, southeast in Washington, D.C. The Coast Guard relocated to the grounds of the former St. Elizabeth's Hospital in 2013. Topic: Flag Officers. Topic: Admiral. The Commandant of the Coast Guard is the Coast Guard's most senior officer, who, by law, holds the rank of Admiral. The Commandant is selected for a four-year term, which may be renewed for additional four-year periods. The current incumbent is Admiral Carl L. Schultz, who replaced Admiral Paul F. Zuckin on June 1, 2018. The Vice Commandant of the Coast Guard is Admiral Charles W. Ray, who replaced Admiral Charles D. Mitchell on May 24, 2018. Topic. Vice Admiral The Deputy Commandant for Mission Support is Vice Admiral Michael F. McAllister, Vice Admiral Marshall B. Lytle III is the Director Command, Control, Communications and Computers C4, Cyber, Chief Information Officer, Joint Staff, J6, CIO, the Commander of the Atlantic Area is Vice Admiral Scott Bushman, the Commander of the Pacific Area Vice Admiral Fred M. Midget. Topic. Rear Admiral There are approximately 38 Rear Admirals in the Coast Guard. Positions held by Rear Admirals include the commanders of each of the nine Coast Guard districts, the nine Assistant Commandants, and the deputies to each of the Vice Admirals. They are also located at Coast Guard Headquarters, Department of Defense Commands, and other Coast Guard Commands. The Superintendent of the United States Coast Guard Academy is Rear Admiral James E. Rendon. The Coast Guard also utilizes members of the Civilian Senior Executive Service says, to serve as executives within the organization. There are approximately 16 SES officials in the Coast Guard. Topic. Commodore The rank of Commodore is no longer used in the Coast Guard. The equivalent rank used today is Rear Admiral lower half. The chief elected officers of the Coast Guard Auxiliary are referred to as Commodores, signifying their senior elected office, rather than a military rank. The title of Commodore is occasionally granted to senior officers typically of pay grade 06, which is a captain who are placed in command of a group or squadron of cutters. It is not a flag rank, but rather a title used to signify command of multiple units afloat. Topic. Senior officers Topic. Captain Coast Guard captains, like their Navy counterparts, rank immediately below Rear Admiral lower half. Coast Guard captains command most large operational units, Sectors, large cutters, large air stations, integrated support commands, training centers and large headquarters units. Captains also direct most headquarters, area and district staff elements. Most captains have served in the Coast Guard for 21 to 30 years. By maritime tradition, the commanding officer of a ship is also called captain, regardless of actual rank held. Thus, a young junior officer commanding a patrol boat is properly called captain, even if his or her actual rank is lieutenant, or lieutenant junior grade. This tradition has also carried over to many shore units. Occasionally, terms like old man and skipper are also used, though not usually in the presence of the captain. However, in current usage, the person in charge of a Coast Guard or Coast Guard Auxiliary small boat is the coxswain, pronounced coxswain. Topic: <laughs> Commander. Coast Guard commanders pay grade 05 may head departments in large operational units or staff positions, or they may be the commanding officer of a medium-sized unit. The term commander is also associated with specific commanding officer positions, such as sector commander usually a captain or district commander usually a rear admiral. <laughs> Junior officers The other commissioned officer ranks are from most senior to least senior 
Lieutenant Commander – Examples of positions held by a Lieutenant Commander include command of some Coast Guard cutters, executive officers of larger cutters, or departmental oversight positions at Coast Guard sector commands. Lieutenant – Examples of positions held by a Lieutenant include command of small boat stations, command of Coast Guard patrol boats, and as operations officers or engineering officers aboard larger Coast Guard cutters. Lieutenant Junior Grade – Examples of positions held by a Lieutenant Junior Grade include command of Coast Guard patrol boats, executive officers of patrol boats, small boat stations, or as assistant operations officers aboard larger Coast Guard cutters. Ensign Examples of positions held by an ensign include training billets as deck watch officers aboard large cutters, student engineers aboard large cutters, and staff positions at Coast Guard sector commands. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Chief Warrant Officers. The Coast Guard has 3 ranks of Chief Warrant Officers. Chief Warrant Officers are warranted officers and are promoted from senior enlisted ranks. The ranks of Warrant Officer and Chief Warrant Officer 5 are not used in the Coast Guard. The three ranks in use are from most senior to least senior Chief Warrant Officer 4 Chief Warrant Officer 3 Chief Warrant Officer 2 An example of a position held by a Chief Warrant Officer is commanding officer of a small cutter, such as USCGC Abbey Burgess. A Chief Warrant Officer is not addressed as Chief. That title that is normally reserved for the enlisted rank of Chief Petty Officer E7. The proper way to address a Chief Warrant Officer is to refer to their title CWO, CWO3, or to address them as Mr. or Ms. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Chief Petty Officers. As in the Navy, Coast Guardsmen in the rates of Chief Petty Officer E7, Senior Chief Petty Officer E8, and Master Chief Petty Officer E9, are collectively called Chiefs, and serve as the service's senior noncommissioned officers. Due to the small and decentralized nature of the service, Coast Guard Chiefs often fill roles that would normally be filled by commissioned officers in other branches. Chiefs may serve as officers in charge of Coast Guard stations, command or serve as engineering petty officers on smaller cutters, and act as department heads on larger cutters. The Master Chief Petty Officer of the Coast Guard is the senior enlisted person of the Coast Guard and serves as an advisor to the Commandant. Like the Commandant, the MCPOCG serves a four-year term. Regional responsibilities Since the most Coast Guard operations are domestic, the service has always been organized along regional lines. The Coast Guard's shore establishment divides the continental United States and its territories into two area commands, Coast Guard Atlantic Area and Coast Guard Pacific Area. The area commands are divided into districts, each commanded by a rear admiral, and each responsible for a portion of the nation's coastline. Each district is further divided into sectors. Individual operational units may report at various levels in this organizational structure. For example, small boat stations report to sector commanders while air stations report to district commanders. Both sectors and air stations are typically commanded by a captain. Cutters, rather than being organized into fleets as in most naval forces, instead report to shore establishment commanders. Generally speaking, the larger the cutter, the higher up the chain the cutter reports. For example, USCGC Margaret Norville WPC a Sentinel-class cutter, reports to Coast Guard Sector Miami, while USCGC Thetis WMEC a larger famous class cutter, reports to the Atlantic Area Commander. Additionally, there are three major operational commands located outside the United States. USCG Activities Far East is located at Yokota Air Base, Japan. FEACT inspects U.S. ships overseas and foreign ships that will be operating in the U.S. USCG Activities Europe is located in Shinan, the Netherlands. Patrol Forces Southwest Asia is based out of Manama, Bahrain. Established in 2002, the mission of PATFORSWA is to train, organize, equip, support and deploy combat-ready Coast Guard forces in support of CENTCOM and national security objectives. <laughs> Coast Guard sectors 
Within each district, large operational shore side units known as sectors are responsible for mission execution within their area of responsibility. Sectors were formed when groups were merged with what were formerly known as marine safety officers. Coast Guard small boat stations are called stations and report to sectors. Each sector commander reports to the appropriate district commander. Topic: <laughs> Coast Guard air stations. Coast Guard air stations provide aviation support for other Coast Guard activities. Unlike small boat stations, air stations are not subordinate to sector commanders. Instead the commanding officer of a Coast Guard air station reports to the appropriate district commander. <laughs> <laughs> Staff elements On July 23, 2007, the Coast Guard instituted a Consolidated Acquisition Directorate, which handles major systems and future equipment acquisitions. It is the second largest staff element at Coast Guard Headquarters. Rear Admiral Gary T. Bloor, Assistant Commandant for Acquisition, leads the Directorate. The Directorate's programs include all platforms and mission systems designed to modernize and recapitalize the Coast Guard's fleet of cutters, boats, aircraft, and information technology assets. Under the new organization, these programs are consolidated from the legacy Coast Guard Acquisitions Directorate and the Integrated Deepwater System Program. The new directorate also brings together the Office of Procurement Management, the Office of Research, Development and Technical Management, the Research and Development Center, and the Head of Contracting. Other The Curatorial Services Office CG92 is located in Forestville, Maryland which includes the U.S. Coast Guard Exhibit Center. <laughs> <laughs> 